name is Tasha and I'm a first year student at Fanshawe College for Fine Arts. My name is Anna Gosogren. I'm one of the professors in the Fine Art program at Fanshawe. Hi, I'm Rila Badero and I teach uh, painting and drawing in the first year. When I came here, uh, I didn't know that I'd be doing film or photography, uh, even history. You're given rules for an assignment, but they're very just very vague rules. So the focus in that in those courses are mostly uh, color theory, composition, looking at different approaches that painters have taken throughout history. And one of the assignments that we do is a carving assignment. Well, um, I came to the information uh, session and it was really good because I got to hear things from either like older students as well as the teachers. They, they let you kind of still create within the parameters of a project. There's an introductory photography course you'll take in your first year. This course focuses on up-to-date digital photography, but you will also get to experience the traditional darkroom techniques. When the video course uh, was started in the fine art program here, many, many, many years ago, uh, first year students would uh, ask, uh, why on earth are we doing television? Why are we making videos in the fine art program? Uh, they certainly don't say that these days. You get exposed to a lot of different materials and mediums and different projects to do. And... I really enjoyed um, drawing and painting and so I decided to come to this program. I do life drawing in that course, so working from the model. And after a lot of carving and sanding, uh, we painted. Drawing is all I did and now I do sculpture, painting and video but they really encourage you to like always expand on things. I didn't really think that video would be part of the curriculum, but it was, and it was something new. And you really get a lot of experience. You get to do painting, drawing, um, sculpture. You even get to work in the wood shop, which is really neat. It's pretty interesting to see what you're capable of. Here are some of the samples of, of uh, the students here. Film is an art form, and um, obviously very much related to uh, the visual arts as a whole. Going downtown, checking out the galleries and things that are happening in London, because London has a lot of different gallery spaces and really vibrant art community that you should definitely become involved in. It's just, it's a, it's a great environment to create. My name is Paul Dreosi and I teach second year sculpture in the fine art program at Fanshawe College. I'll be introduced for making at Fanshawe. Uh, in the second year. Uh, I'm Gary Spirin and I teach here uh, as a full-time faculty member at Fanshawe. And the course I teach is a skills-based, skills-intensive program uh, and the students learn all sorts of uh, techniques for mold making and casting. There are two courses. Uh, the first one uh, deals with relief printing and intaglio. Uh, so that's done in this print room where we have the press. Uh, we work with uh, very small scale work, uh, miniatures and dry point, right up to large wood cuts that are two foot by four foot. Uh, we do a lot of color work as well. I'll show you a second year project that encompasses many aspects of creativity. First of all, the students have to make something that they can wear. Uh, in the second semester, the students work with silk screen printing and uh, digital printing. We do carpentry projects, uh, we do projects with sheet metal, copper and aluminum. So quite ambitious projects for an introductory uh, level course. They can seem concrete or highly abstract, it's up to the student. But at the same time, once they do wear that object, they have to photograph themselves with that object on in an isolated area. And then after that, they have to make a painting of themselves. Here at Fanshawe, we're lucky to have uh, two printmaking rooms, so we get to divide the processes between the two rooms. It's a small facility, but nevertheless, we're well equipped. We've got two large presses. I'm here standing with the Charles Brand Press, which has been here for many years and seen many professional printmakers, um, you know, come through here using it. Uh, it's very special. Uh, then we have the silk screen room. And so we feel quite fortunate that we've been able to maintain those, um, those print spaces for the college program. And we also do a large-scale off-campus project that's a collaborative project 
uh, that's been running for eight years now, and we work at the John Zubik Limited Scrapyard, and we make large-scale sculptures out of all the wonderful pieces of steel and scrap that we find in the yard. In just eight short years, the metal sculptures that grace the front of the Zubik Metals Yard on Clark's Side Road have become tourist attractions, drawing visitors from far and wide to the strange creations. It's nice to get actually on site, and it really creates that type of environment to build these kind of large, almost kind of rough looking sculptures. And it's personally never anything really any of us had done before. The works are created by the fine arts students from Fanshawe College in a cooperative agreement with Zubix. This year, two classes of projects are being judged and prepared for display, with two prizes of $1,000 being awarded to the winning team of students. So this year, you can look forward to seeing some fine examples of birds, along with microscopic bacterium, which should be on display at Zubix in about two weeks' time. Hey, I'm Jessica Kathleen and Conlon, and I had a bunny on the floor with a um, Canadian flag over it. Uh, the purple shirt is my favorite shirt and one of my favorite bands. My name is Mike Van Castren. Um, we did a painting, Garden of Earthly Light. Okay, my name is Brittany McLean. In my painting, I wore a black sweater and so just some jeans, just some casual stuff. I didn't want to get dressed up. Hi, uh, my name is Randy Bross. I'm Stephanie Talbot. Um, I wore my new brown t-shirt and new jeans because um, they're new and I like them. <laughs> I used uh, a bongo as my floor object because I like playing music. I wanted to kind of challenge myself and it's kind of my favorite skateboard company. And I put a postcard from a letter that one of my cousins sent me on the wall. The image behind me is a ticket for a friend's benefit. I held in my hand a skateboard magazine because I just love skateboarding. Um, I had a lantern on the wall and uh, I did a section of Earthly Delights with that was very silhouetted because I like silhouettes. A bird with a kind of a cauldron on his head, kind of on the floor. Had a Nintendo controller because video games are a big part of my life too. So it seemed like a, kind of the imperialism. So it all kind of portrays to going home, like a letter from home, stick from home, keys to get him at home. A uh, show that we put on because he passed away and I wanted to put him in a piece of my art too.
I'm Cheryl Bender and I took uh, the Fanshawe Fine Art. Coming to Fanshawe, like attending Fanshawe um, as any art student, um, you're making a very good decision. Coming to this program, the profs are a big help and they're all fairly successful artists themselves. And afterwards, uh, there's a lot of different options to continue your education if you'd like to. And I chose Fanshawe over the other colleges because there was a lot of resources that they had. They have a, the wood shop for sculpting and, and large uh, studio spaces. And in third year, you get to go off and do your own work, and they give you your own space. You're going to find there's going to be a lot of work uh, your first two years, but uh, it's a lot of work that's geared towards something. It's a lot, it's, it's, uh, a lot of work that you can use in your third year. So it makes it really helpful. They have great points of views and they really help you uh, develop as an artist. And Fanshawe is a great place and it's uh, in the perfect location for wherever you need to go. NASCAD, OCAD. Um, I'm going to get my BFA at Windsor. Um, and it's an 18 month course, which is like roughly three semesters. And this year, actually, I went into printmaking and I ended up putting it onto plexiglass and sculpting it as well, and, and also doing a paper version. You're going to learn a lot. We have some really good um, professors. They're very willing to help. A lot of good facilities, too. Well, we're also shown in the Arts Project downtown, which is great because uh, it's a very well-known art gallery and it gets our name out there. And a lot of the schools in Ontario as well, there's one, I believe, in Alberta that is also partnered with Fanshawe, so it's excellent in order of getting your credits to move to be moved over. And I really appreciated the chance to go off in my own direction. And they really do try to get us out there, and it's basically a program that if you want to do something with it, you can do it.